Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Management of Chronic Non-Cancer Pain in Older Adults Without Opioids, the Atman Approach. I'm Abhilash Desai, Geriatric Psychiatrist in Boise, Idaho. Chronic pain is pain for at least three months. Generally, the pain is going on for a year, two, even longer. Pain especially chronic pain is a very complex experience with not only physical component of pain and the sensory component, but also emotional, cognitive, and even spiritual existential components. Up to one in five adults and up to 50% of older adults and 75% of uh, older adults with advanced cancer have very disabling, distressing chronic pain. Uh, it's important to assess pain in a very comprehensive manner and even use pain scales. Our book by Dr. George Grossberg, who's a nationally and internationally renowned geriatric psychiatrist, and I, a psychiatric consultation in long-term care, a guide for healthcare professionals, has a chapter on psychiatric aspects of palliative and hospice medicine where we give more details about such an assessment and use of pain scales. Uh, when we treat pain, uh, we not only assess for pain, but also assess for anxiety, depression, insomnia, excessive daytime sleeping, activity, especially physical activity level, uh, how good is their breathing and other vital signs and nutrition. Uh, sometimes when they are complaining more of pain, it's quite likely that their anxiety and depression may have gone up and then the focus should be on those rather than adjusting pain medicines. So why avoid opioids like morphine, oxycodone, hydrocodone, Norco? The first and the most important reason is that we have not a single high quality randomized controlled trials supporting the effectiveness of opioids for chronic non-cancer pain in older adults. There is just one study in older adults above the age of 50 uh, for chronic moderate to severe arthritis. And in that study, the opioid did not do better than non-opioid interventions. So giving opioids for chronic non-cancer pain is not evidence-based. Also opioids are linked to respiratory suppression, overdose, intoxication, delirium. One can develop dependence, tolerance, uh, withdrawal effects. So the negatives are just too many. Dr. Grossberg and I uh, wrote in our uh, section of geriatric psychiatry in a excellent uh, geriatric medicine textbook by Pathy, uh, where we talk about the Atman approach. Uh, it's an acronym. A stands for acetaminophen and antidepressants, T for topical analgesics, M for muscle relaxants, uh, A for anticonvulsants, anti inflammatory agents, and N for non drug interventions. And we recommend the stepped approach where the step one is that we try and manage chronic non-cancer pain with either scheduled acetaminophen if the pain is musculoskeletal, such as arthritis, chronic low back pain. Again, the research is not there to support its use, but clinical experience and many guidelines indicate that we should give it a try in some cases. Topical analgesics are very useful uh, for management of chronic non-cancer pain, especially if the pain is localized, such as chronic shoulder pain or chronic knee pain or low back pain. And then non-pharmacological intervention should be the mainline treatment as step one. Step two, one may have to add duloxetine, Cymbalta, it's an antidepressant which affects serotonin and norepinephrine. Uh, we can sometimes use gabapentin and pregabalin uh, for neuropathic pain. We may use muscle relaxants, also, although they also carry significant risks. 
and then obviously interventional pain management, such as injections in the joints. Again, the data is not there, but if the pain is really disabling and severe and step one interventions are not helping, we may need to go to step two. Step three is where we use an older antidepressant such as nortriptyline. In older adults, this can become a little tricky, so it's important to use this cautiously. Tramadol may be effective, but it also carries a lot of drug-drug interactions, so we need to be very careful. Uh, of its use in older adults. And non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs uh, also carry a lot of risks, such as uh, gastrointestinal problems, uh, renal damage. So we should restrict its use to step three when we have vigorously tried step one, step two, and the chronic pain is extremely severe, disabling, and not improving. Opioids should be restricted to the last step because of the risks uh, I mentioned. The key non-pharmacological interventions that should be the main line for all individuals, especially older adults with chronic pain include physical therapy, exercise therapy, it includes yoga, Pilates, Tai Chi, posture training. Cognitive behavioral therapy for pain is now mainstream treatment that should routinely be ordered for all older adults experiencing chronic non-cancer pain if their cognitive functioning is relatively good. Pain self-management training, meditation, music, humor, nutrition are other key components of non-pharmacological interventions. These are some of the free meditation apps that I would recommend, uh, Cleveland Clinic Wellness, uh, Mindful Moments app, CBTI Coach, Cognitive Behavioral Therapy for Insomnia by Veterans Administration, UCLA Mindful, and PTSD Coach. Uh, the best resources to learn more about chronic pain and its treatment, as well as learning about mindfulness and meditation is, once again, uh, our book, by Dr. George Grossberg and myself. Uh, and then uh, One Day Mindfulness Millionaire, a lighthearted primer for the uninitiated by my wife and I is also an excellent resource to learn about what is living mindfully meditation and use that to manage chronic pain more effectively and live a happier life. Hope this has been useful. Namaste.